What a time to be a wrestling fan as AEW had groundbreaking news that we know that AEW and TNT Warner Media Group have come to an extended deal. That means that AEW is going to be on their television up to 2023 through 2023. So through the end of the year, it looks like we have AEW and TNT building a partnership with this. We also know that AEW will be having a new television show. And are we going to be getting a brand new AEW title? Well, I think we will. Let's take a look at the press release. Start up wrestling sensation. All elite wrestling extended in multi-year pact. AEW dynamite extended through 2023. Warner Media greenlights new AEW series. AEW Dynamite on TNT is a top 20 new cable unscripted series and has reached nearly 32 million viewers across all platforms in only three months. Warner Media announced today an expanded relationship with All Elite Wrestling, the groundbreaking new wrestling league that has already redefined wrestling with resounding success after only a few months, Warner Media has extended their deal for AEW Dynamite, a top 20 new cable unscripted series, through 2023. In addition, the parties have agreed to launch another night of AEW action, offering the fans favorite wrestlers with a second show straight to series. When launching AEW one year ago, we wanted to start a revolution that would disrupt the wrestling business, but everyone said that it would take a strong weekly television partner to make AEW real in the eyes of everyone, and above all, the fans, said Tony Khan, the president and CEO of AEW, with virtually no one realized at the time was that Kevin Riley and TNT were committed to the very same movement from day one, and their belief in us made it possible for AEW to think and act big from the start. Here we are, only three months into AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, and now we're being extended through 2023. We're now making the ultimate statement. The team of AEW and TNT is here to stay and bring fans more great wrestling that the fans demanded and deserved. Weekly action-packed matches continue to air Wednesday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern as part of TNT's lineup of big, Lean forward television that gives viewers the best seat in the house for electrifying stories, dynamic characters, and thrilling events. A global franchise, AEW has already secured broadcasting deals in UK, Canada, France, Germany, and is available in over 100 countries through the AEWplus.com subscription service. Both parties are continuously exploring ways to future expand this relationship. Woo! There's the press release. AEW has been extended through 2023 going forward. We do know that, as mentioned at the beginning of this, we're going to get a brand new AEW television show to boot with this. Now, that made me wonder, what is this television show going to be? Is this going to be another version of Thunder? As we remember, WCW had Nitro and Thunder. And then maybe we're going to have something with AEW going on, maybe a different network? Or are they just going to take what they already have established, which is AEW Dark, and are they going to put that on television? Honestly, I think that might be the best effort for them because I think they've built something that is a brand, the Dark brand. Unless they want to keep that for something else, I think the Dark brand would work for them. They can give that one hour, kind of tell everybody what's going to go into the next Dynamite, have this more scripted type series where it's like, okay, Here's what's going to be happening, kind of a recap slash a few matches and then get everybody hyped for Dynamite. I think that's the best way to go because honestly, I like the way Dark is. I think it's a perfect program. So if they could just do something like that on television, I think that would be good. Would the ratings be where they would want them? Probably not. Would they give us another Dynamite type show? I don't know if that's something they want to do. At this current point, I do know that they need more time to get more wrestlers over. That's been the big problem with AEW right now with only having two hours is they can't get everybody that they want to get on the show. And then some of the things they do put on the show, it kind of annoys people. I know there's been some issues with the Dark Order and the Nightmare Collective and everything seems like it's not going very good for those groups. Well, maybe. Maybe they'll shift things and maybe things will get better. But I think... If we can get another program for AEW, that will probably be what's best for AEW. I don't want to see them do another full-fledged show, but I think if you can somehow get these characters flushed out more, because you have a lot of really great talent, but you can only tell so many stories in two hours. So the problem that they're having right now is you have people like Riho, which I really do like. They really 
haven't got a big flushed out story for her. And there's a lot of people that I really enjoy, like Darby Allen and John Moxley and all those people. But again, there's only so much time that you can have them be on TV. So you have to kind of rotate them in and out. So you're kind of seeing some of these guys in and some of them out. And then I remember there are big people like Joey Janela that came in right away. And yes, he's got his story with Kip Sabian right now, but I don't think that they really did a lot to put him over the top. I mean, they kind of have, they they, they did it at the beginning and then they kind of slowed it down because they only have so much time. I feel like the only thing that's going to get is, is it's just going to get better. With this, you can have more focus on the women's. You can have more focus on maybe a secondary title. Honestly, I think right now, with the landscape of AEW, there's a lot of really good talent, but unless they're going for the title, and right now the rankings are like top five, really. So unless you have anybody else than the top five, like you're just going to have nothing to do. You're going for the tag title. You go for the world title. If you're not doing that, then you really have nothing to do in the company. I know they're building great stories like Cody and MJF and things like that. But currently, if you're not fighting for the main championship in AEW, then there's nothing really to fight for. So I think what they could give us is to give us like a television title that would be branded as a television title. That could be defended every week on television, and that would be kind of the thing that I would I would really like to see that. If they're going to extend the programming, they're going to extend the show, I feel like it'd be in the best interest for TNT to kind of say, okay, we want you to give us a television title. That'll pop the ratings. That'll get people to watch. That'll you know put the TNT branding maybe on the title. I don't know. I know they did it in the NWA back in the day. They've done it with other titles, and I think it'd be something that they could that could be – Very awesome if they give us a TV title. So, I don't know. I'm excited to see where TNT goes in the future with AEW. The partnership is made. As we know, it came in in 2019, and now it's extending through the end of 2023. If things go well, we're going to get more. Uh, You just kind of have to look at it like this. I know a lot of people are comparing it to WWE and saying, oh, well, look at WWE's ratings. You know, Raw and SmackDown, they get way better ratings. Well, it's not trying to compete with that. Yes, they do put that narrative out there. AEW has been bad about doing this. The war is on. Let's go. We're the number one. We're against WWE. It's like, yes, they've been doing that, but that's just poking fun in it. When you look at it right down to the facts, the way that it actually is, WWE and AEW are not competition here. What's actually wanting, what what the facts are, is that TNT just wants a television show that's going to get them good ratings, and AEW is doing that for them. So you put AEW on their television, they're getting good ratings. That's all that matters to TNT, right? At the end of the day, if they're putting out a great product, they're promoting TNT, TNT is getting the ratings that they want, there's no reason why we shouldn't have this program on the television. So anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave you today. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure you smash that like button. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you excited for AEW to get extended through 2023? Are you kind of like, I don't really like AEW. Maybe some of the stuff's turning off. To me, I think AEW is the best television wrestling program on mainstream television. I mean, I know we have Ring of Honor and we have Impact, but nothing really stands up to WWE production and what WWE is doing like AEW does. And I'm not saying that the war is there. Hey, pick a side. You got to pick a side. The war is on. No, honestly... I think it's awesome. I like some of the characters like MJF, Darby Allen. I like John Moxley, the inner circle stuff, Sammy Guevara. All that stuff is cool. Again, there's some things that I don't like about it, but that's with everything. You're not going to be satisfied 100% by anything that you see on television or any program that you're into, but you can have hope that, you know what? I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to see where this goes because I kind of like what they're doing. They give us some great matches, some amazing stories. And I think we're going to see great things from the future. So anyway, guys, again, let me know your thoughts. Am I right? Am I wrong? Hit the comment section up. And as always, I'm Tony Pizza Guy. We'll see you in another video. Who the hell do we think we are, huh? Do people want to see it? Let me hear it. Oh, welcome to AEW Dynamite. Got to give the people what they want. What are we seeing?
time. We're gonna show you that we're the best. AEW True Paradigm Shift. You ain't seen nothing yet. All Elite Wrestling on TNT. Watch Wednesday Night Dynamite at 8 or anytime on demand and the app.